So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and a special video. Uh, this is uh, Leon's idea. A number of the community have been doing it um, to sort of uh, cheer up one of the stalwarts of the community, Paul Beckus, uh, down in Australia, who's uh, apparently having a bit of a rough time of it uh, medically at the moment. So um, to cheer him up, we're all doing three minute videos. So um, please uh, join in if you can. Now, anybody watching my videos knows three minutes is pretty tough ask for me. The last one I placed up yesterday um, when it was, it was two hours, 45 minutes. But anyway, we'll try to three minutes. So what I thought I'd do, I know uh, Paul likes his ships. Uh, and so I thought I'd do a boat for Beckus. There you go. So this is one that I had in the stash. This is the Victory at Sea Schleswig Holstein uh, German um, battle cruiser, I think it was. It was a pre dreadnought ship. It has the notoriety of, of firing the opening shots of World War II. It um, was apparently in uh, September 1939, was uh, in Danzig and um, it's supposed to be there on a ceremonial duty <laughs> and then opened up on Polish positions uh, so in a way fired the first shots of the war um, it was actually a pre-dreadnought battleship built um, I believe it was commissioned in 1906 and even for its own time um, it was a pretty obsolete ship um, so there you go it's typical warlords uh, resin with the metal bits so we're going to make this up paint it up and cheer up Paul right there we go um, model is made up wasn't too many parts as you saw just the the tricky bit is always getting these cranes in position and getting them to um, stick in the required holes um, oh, and there you go, I've just proved how difficult that is by breaking that one so I have to re-glue that um, always useful to have a pair of tweezers to hand um, because that really helps position them okay so we'll do that in a minute um, <laughs> I love it so um, I'm gonna paint this up um, fairly f fairly straightforwardly um, I'm gonna do the it's got a sort of upper decking here uh, which I'm gonna use Gore Grunter fur for and then around the lower deck, I'm going to use this uh, walnut from scale 77, 75. So then I think all the infra, all the sort of um, superstructure, sort of the uh, coning towers and the um, funnels and what have you, will just uh, use uh, probably use this winter grey. I think on it just because I want it to have a grey look. Um, so anyway, we'll paint it up. Um, and um, we'll come back with the next stage. Right, so just an update on the painting. Oops, hold it away from the camera a bit, Dom. Um, so I've done the decking, I've done the um, uh, lifeboats. I used uh, mahogany colour for that. Um, you can just about see the gore grunter around the upper deck. The lower deck, lower deck, that walnut colour is quite nice, actually, quite like that. Um, I've Put a sort of, um, I think it's called a, oh god, what is it called? Plum line, plumps, pimpsel line down the outside of the, the ship, um, mainly because all the images I've seen of it um, show it having a sort of half, half red hull, but most of that would have been underwater. So I've um, just tried to put a little strip around, and then use the um, winter grey just to retouch up all the hull. Um, the guns, I wasn't sure what to do. Um, so my Russian, my, my German uh, fleet for Victory at Sea, I've done the uh, tops of the turrets with, the, with red, um, mainly because, um, as I said in that video that I showed, um, the, uh, in the early war, the Germans lost a couple of ships to friendly fire. Um, and so after that, they decreed that all their ships had um, uh, red flags, uh, sort of red colour over the top of their turrets so that they were identified as being part of the of the German fleet. Um, now, I don't know whether that happened with the Shedwick Holstein, but um, I thought I'd just in keeping with the uh, 
with the vessel you know with the other vessels that's why I do that so that's that um, I'm going to next up do the seed and I found I think this is what I used last time um, Talisar blue from contrast paints um, I'm going to do that all over the base try not to um, hide the red line around the base and um, I'll be back all right there we go um, I like that that colour comes out really nicely. So next up I'm going to give the whole ship a bit of a wash. I've got some, um, actually this is Army Painter Dark Tone, just um, uh, watered down just a smidge. And I'm just going to whack that all over the ship. Like that. Make sure we get every nook and cranny, because I want it to darken down a bit um, and not be quite so garish. And then once that's done, I'm going to do the same for the water. I'm going to let it dry. And then we'll see what we do next. So there you go, all dry and um, ready for the next stage. I think it's sort of looking okay. Um, a bit darker than I want. Which one I'm going to try and lighten up a little bit. So... Um, the sea has come out okay. That um, that colour works beautifully, um, and I think the sort of plimsoll line—that's what it's called, plimsoll line—down the edge of the boat sort of comes out all right in the end. So what I'm going to do next is uh, dry brush the the water uh, using first of all medium blue, and then a very pale electric blue, um, just to sort of accentuate the, uh, th these models come with lovely sort of wave structures on them so I'm going to try and do them and um, I'll show you what that looks like after that. So there you go, I've um, progressively built up a little bit of the colour around the uh, ship itself uh, using those two colours, so first of all the darker blue and then the lighter blue and then I've gone in with uh, just a plain white um, just to pick out even more of the waves which I think kind of works well then giving the whole ship a bit of a dry brush which actually helps to lighten it up a bit as well um, and there we go that is the um, Schleswig Holstein 1939 version um, and it's a, it's, it's a boat for Beckers so uh, I don't know how this is going to come out three minutes or not but uh, we'll see when it goes into editing <laughs> <laughs> see when I get around to editing it whether I can get it in close to that time so anyway Beckus this is for you um, I hope you're I hope it helps to, to make uh, things go a little bit quicker and easier for you I hope uh, you're starting to feel a little bit brighter and um, I hope you're enjoying the love from the community uh, get back to what you do best as soon as you possibly can mate and to the rest of you thanks very much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and a subscribe and uh, I'll put some stills up of this ship in a minute at the end of this. So stay safe and I'll see you again soon. This is Dom signing out.